Hello everyone, uh, Dale over here. Warning, this video will contain artwork from my Divinian art, so if you want to give credit, give it to me. Also warning, it's going to contain um, what I think is going to happen in Game of Thrones because of the new trailer that is released. So if you haven't seen the new trailer, go and watch that before you see this. And without uh, any regards for warning for spoilers or anything of that regard like uh, don't watch this if you haven't watched the show okay yeah uh, that's all that I have to say okay here we go three two one so the new uh, intro starts out with like the frost uh, coming and the snow mist like landing and turning everything into like um, snow and ice and stuff like that including um, one of the dragons that we already know is turned into a frost dragon and uh, the wolf. Like, I'm almost sure this is summer that have become winter, but I will get into that later. Um, then the <laughs> it continues on with like fire being turned on in the lions, then how to say that, on the lion. And first I was a little surprised about this because like I thought that the king of the uh, <laughs> frost thing, so how to say that, the night king was uh, going after his night's queen. But I still feel like there's potential for this because like the, the lion in flames cannot only represent, um, of course, um, all of the Lannisters. But I think like it mostly represented Jaime or like Tyrion or like stuff like that. I don't think like Cersei is necessarily uh, one that that should be uh, counted in for this. But I could be wrong and she could actually be uh, the um, true, uh, you know, one in, that's going to save us all. Uh, oh my god. That would be insane, but I think what is going to happen is that the Night's King is going to come for his queen. And this, in this case, it can be three of the ones that are pregnant right now. Because we know that the Night's King go after babies. And who is pregnant now? Cersei is pregnant. Um, uh, yeah, John's sister uh, is pregnant. And... Um, yeah, who, who more is? Yeah, Daenerys is pregnant. And who of those three do you want as your queen? Uh, obviously, most of you guys will be like, oh, I want Daenerys. And yeah, the trailer actually shows that one of her dragons have been turned into ice. But we, we already know this. So I'm a little like, I think like the ice is going to be shattered around and like we are going to see um summer that is brand's wolf come back as winter because like that would make most sense of all or else we are going to see a ghost that is becoming a white walker wolf or how to say that and john actually becoming a white walker now that could also be really insane and really nice <laughs> to have so yeah that, that is uh, a side <laughs> plot for it. But I really think what is going to happen is like uh, summer has become winter and the winter will come for Bran. And Bran is actually going to be the one um, having all of this, like flying the ice dragon and taking care of all of that. Uh, I don't necessarily think like the ice means that the white walkers is going to overtake all of the dragons and all of the wolves but i could be wrong it could be like uh, the wolves and the dragons are symbols of the yeah the starks and the of course the one that daenerys is family in but yeah i, I also feel like um the lion and flames was again as I said, Jaime or uh, Tyrion or actually Cersei. And the reason why I'm feeling like this is because I think like even though that the Night's King come and offers Cersei to um, 
reborn her dead loved ones uh, by like taking her baby and making it a white walker i don't think like she would agree to that i maybe i'm wrong but i i just don't feel like she would do such a thing we have heard in all of the series that she loves her children more than anything in the world so like her losing one more child for becoming a white walker is not something i think like she would agree to unless she can get you know all of her children back and as white walkers or how to say that and having them as the knight's king and the knight's queen could actually make uh, wrap up the series really nicely because like then it's uh, ending with what it started with with the knight's king actually having uh, being king over the seven uh, empires or how to say that and the realm and and stuff like that so i think like that could be one scenario that fits but our other scenario is that jamie becomes the chosen one we all know the things with like the him being born under a bleeding star as well as john uh, we all think like his uh, fist is going to burn into flames or i actually think it's going to be both his hand and his sword and i think like what is going to happen is like jamie is being forced into the position of like having to kill all of you know Cersei the Night's King and all of the reborn Lannisters and this could be really hard for him because like um, I, I know like we all have a big connection to Tywin so yeah I think like in this case I think like Tyrion is going to help him uh, maybe get a crossbow again light it on fire and kill his dad one more time i don't know what's going to happen but i seriously hope like bran is going to fly the ice dragon and like Tyrion is going to have his um epic revenge or how to say that uh, before he dies because i actually think like he's going to die in this uh, the upcoming uh, uh, propaganda of all of this and then like i i really think like um the knight's king and knight's queen's child baby or what it is 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 going to have it like uh be born up against like um daenerys and john's baby that is going to be the maybe he's going to be the chosen one and like when he's born on the battlefield like everything just stops and are turned into crystal or something in those lines because like we see in the intro when the fire and the ice meet it becomes like this dark crystal so maybe dragon glass or like uh, other form of uh, crystal but i think like dragon glass makes the most sense because like that would be a, a really good uh, way to defend against the white walkers of course but also a way to actually end the series if everything was just like embarked in crystal or dragon glass that would look insane and also be like really fitting for the end of all of this and the reason why i think like the knight's king will not go after sansa is actually i i'm not 100 percent sure that she's pregnant but maybe he will go after all three ladies and hear me out he has like five uh, of his um right hands or how to say that who is to say that he shouldn't like send them out and he himself will go after cersei and the other ones will like <laughs> consuade you know Daenerys and Sansa I think like um, one that is definitely someone that you can trade is Sansa and actually also um, Daenerys I'm not that sure about Cersei but who knows like I still think like she is the original descendant of the Mad King and she is the one that is the true uh, you know born or how to say that uh, because we don't know a lot about Cersei we haven't seen if she has been born under a bleeding star 
we haven't seen anything about like stuff like that but i still think like there's potential so let me hear what you think in the comments down below uh, do remember that inspiration is right around the corner do remember to take care of yourself and loved ones and that's actually all yeah okay bye